hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not to subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this model we are going to start our first question in third exercise Siri has enough money to buy 5 kg of potatoes at the price of 8 rupees per kg how much can she buy for the same amount if the price is increased to 10 rupees per kg so if the same amount is there rupees uh, cost is increasing then number of kgs will be obviously it is decreased so weight let's take weight will be weight of the potatoes will be x and cost of the potatoes will be y this is there in rupees this is there in kgs let's take like that and here weight x1 and y1 then x2 y2 so what you can write here as weight of that first one 5 kg then each kg price is 8 rupees then how much it is increased to 10 rupees then what is the x2 value they are asking so if the weight is increasing that is x is increasing then cost will be decrease or cost will be increases and x will be decrease weight will be decrease so what does that mean is x is inversely proportional to y that is weight is inversely proportional to cost then x is equals to k by y then find the constant that is k is equals to x into y that means x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 will be equal to k so let's take this around inverse proportion so what you can make it here is x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 so we have to find x2 value that is x1 y1 by y2 so what is x2 value here x1 is what 5 then y1 is what 8 by y2 is what 10 that will be equal to so 5 8 is a 40 by 10 so here what you are getting 10 ones are 10 fours are so 4 you will get 4 kg of potatoes we can buy that is 4 kg we can buy with the 10 rupees per kg thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not just subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this model we are going to discuss a camp has food stock 500 people for 70 days if 200 more people join the camp then how long will be will be the stock last so actually for 500 people 70 days will come if you add 200 it will become 700 then days will be decreases why because the food stock will going to decrease by use by increasing of paper so let's take number of people will be number of people will be equal to x and what you can take another one number of days so number of days will be y so here x1 and y1 then x2 y2 right like this so actually what they are given here is so number of people will be 500 for them food stock will be for 70 days again they are given that 12 200 more people added that is 200 plus 500 then it will become 700 people now present is 700 people then we have to find what is the number of days for getting the same price so let's take here number of people that is x is increasing then days will be decrease or or number of days increasing then number of people will be decreases like that so x and y are inverse proportion that is x is equals to k by y that means k is equals to x y so what does that mean here so x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 that is x1 y1 equal to k some constant so let's find we have to find y2 that is y2 will be equal to x1 y1 by x2 so x1 y1 values are what so x1 is 500 x y1 is 70 by x2 is 700 obviously it is 
zero zero cancel seven one za seven ten za. So five hundred by ten. So ten one za ten fifty za. So what you'll get fifty. So fifty days. Fifty days. So obviously it is fifty days. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. Thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss 36 men can do a piece of work in 12 days. In how many days 9 men can do the same work? Actually, let's take number of men. Men will be X and number of days will be Y. Number of days will be Y. So here, what is there here is, let's take here x1, y1, x2, y2. So here you can take it as x1, y1 and x2, y2. So here what x1 is, so here you can take x1 as, so number of men at the first time 36 members. 36 members work, how many days they are going to complete within 12 days. Then how many days, so how many days it will be there for 9 members. If the same work, let's take, if men will be increased, then number of days will be decrease. Then men will be decrease, then number of days will be, obviously it is increased. So that is x and y are inverse proportion, that is x is inversely proportional, that will be equal to x is equals to k by y. Then what implies is k is equals to constant that is x into y. So that means x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 will be equal to x3 y3 will be equal to k. So in inverse proportion always it will be there 1 1 and 2 to rule. So that is the case. So next one. So let's take here. Let's take x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2. Then x1 is what 36 into y1 is what 12. Then x2 is 9 into y2. That implies y2 will be equal to 36 into 12 by 9. So 3 3 za, 3 4 za. Then 3 1 za, 3 12 za. That is 12 into 4. So 12 4 za, 48 days. So what is the answer is 48 days for completing same work, for completing that work, completing the work. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe. So here in this fourth question, a tank can be filled by five pipes in 80 minutes. How long it will take to fill the tank by eight pipes of the same size? So here one, two, three. 4, 5 pipes are there. So let's take number of pipes. So number of pipes will be x. Then time to fill. Time to fill will be let's say y. So here number this is hours. So what is that is x1 y1 then x2 y2. So what is x1 here as x1 number of pipes will be first one is what? 5 pipes then y1 80 minutes 80 minutes then again they are asking 8 pipes then what is the time so let's take actually what you can take here is so here minutes that given you can convert it into hours also so you can convert it into hours also so if number of pipes let's take x is increases then time taken for that to fill tank is decreases. If number of pipes will be decreased, then tank filling is increases. The time will increase. That means x is inversely proportional to y. That implies x is equals to k by y. That implies k will be equal to x into y. That is the case here. k is equals to x into y. So that means x1, y1 will be equal to x2 y2 that will be equal to x3 y3 that will be equal to constant so constant will not change so that is the meaning 
so let's substitute the values here so x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 so we have to find y2 then y2 will be equal to x1 y1 by x2 so that implies so what is x1 is 5 into y1 is 80 minutes by x2 is 8 so 8 ones are 8 tens are then what you are getting so what we are getting here is so 5 into 10 that is 50 minutes thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss a cyclist covers distance 28 kilometers so this went 28 kilometer per only in 2 hours Then find the time taken by to him cover the distance of 56 km with the same speed. So speed is constant. The day speed is same. So that is k. So we have to find the k value here. So let's take the distance covered. Distance will be d that will be equal to. So d1 will be equal to 28 km. Then what is that time will be equal to t that is t1 will be equal to 2 hours so time will be 2 hours then what is our next one is so let's take here so d2 will be equal to 56 kilometer then time t2 will be what so if distance is increases then time also increases so if d is increases then time also at the same speed if time also increases if distance decreases then time also decreases with the same speed so what is this is direct proportion distance is directly proportional to time that is distance equal to k into time then k will be equal to d by t so d1 by t1 will be equal to d2 by t2 so let's take what we have to find is d t2 so t2 will be equal to d2 by d1 into t1 d2 by d1 into t1 then time will be t2 will be equal to d2 is what 56 kilometer then d1 is what 28 into 2 hours 2 ones are 2 14 za then what you can write here 14 ones are 14 fours are then t2 will be equal to 4 hours thanks for watching please subscribe